Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you don't know me, my name is Emily and welcome to this channel. So in today's video, I will be doing a reading vlog for it. Babel. Babel. I finally got around to read it and I'm really excited. I am a little bit <laughs> terrified actually of this book because it's like very thick and it's also a heavy book. Like I have hardcovers and they are way less heavy but i don't know and i kind of hate hot covers but it's fine you know it was really new release and i wanted to read it asap so um i bought the hot cover which never actually happened but it's fine and um yeah basically if you don't know babel it is i think dark academia title vibes that's actually kind of all i know about this book I don't know anything basically because I don't know fantasy um like these types of thingies at the back of the book in fantasy novels I feel like they don't say anything I don't understand anything but I wanted to go in blindly as possible and I think over this video I will be telling you more what it's actually about I like I said only heard it's like dark academia because it takes place in Oxford in London which I think is really cool in this like and I think the tower is called Babel and that's why it's called that and it takes place in 18 1836 so in the 19th century which is really cool I love that I kind of do like historical fiction not very often but sometimes and I think it has parts of fantasy I'm not sure which parts but it does have some I think and um yeah and um i think it also involves like colonialism and racism and i think that's really interesting especially back in like the 19th century but that's basically all i know about it like i said i'm a little bit terrified of it because it's so thick and it's probably gonna be really confusing i've read a lot of dark academia books in the last couple of days which has been fun I just finished If We Were Villains and I have a big book hangover. Like, it's actually insane. It was probably one of my favorite books of this year, which I did not anticipate. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm excited to start reading this book. Um, and yeah, I will keep you guys in the loop. I will probably make this spoiler free and then I will give you guys my view of this and then. I will put in some spoiler thoughts that I had while reading this book. So it's like a spoiler reading vlog afterwards and my spoiler thoughts. So you can watch if you haven't read it and if you have read it. But yeah, I'm excited to read this book of a book. And I think it's going to be really good from what I've heard. Because the Goodreads rating is literally probably I think 4.43. Which is actually crazy. So I think it will be really good. And um, yeah, let's get to reading. Hi guys, so I kind of made a bad job and giving you all my thoughts while reading because I'm not done, but I'm like halfway through. You can't see my sign, but I'm like this far into it. Like, I still need to read these. And I'm currently on page like 215 or something. And, um, yeah, almost halfway. And I do like it. It's really well written, and I think it's very important, but it's also confusing and it kind of drags on, and nothing is happening. And I'm like, what is all this for and it's really confusing but i did read it on the train yesterday and i felt very smart just reading a black hardcover which just says babel like it feels smart but um i don't know now at least i can tell you what's the book about because now i've read some because before then i did not know anything but robin who is from um china and um, he got sick and their whole family got sick from cholera. 
cholera i don't know and um, because it takes place like i said in 1850 i think ish and so they all had cholera and they all died and then there came this professor and he kind of cured robin and was like yeah i can take you with me to um the uk to london and you can live with me and um yeah that's how robin got actually to the uk and the uh, prof professor got kind of like custody i think over him and um yeah he provided him a very big and good education so he studied like multiple languages um in london at this house or mansion i would probably say and then that was like the first two chapters or something and then it changed and he got into the university of translation which is called babel and now he's living there and it's just like a student at this university and has built some friendships which i love and um yeah living there and kind of like struggling because obviously he is from china and there is a lot of racism going on there and also i think back then i don't know about like any of the history like the actual history back then but i think china is a colony from the uk because the book is actually about a lot of like colonism and stuff like that because i think the uk is kind of like exploiting like the colonies like china india and stuff like that because they are taking the silver from these countries and are making them into silver bars which is the fantasy part of this book because those um silver bars can be used for magic and help people for example make them invisible and invisible yes and stuff like that and um yeah but that's only works with translators like you need to have studied at babel to be able to use those because like if this is like this little bar then on one side it says like in english the word like invisible and on the other side it says like the word in like i don't know chinese or french or something like that and you need to know i think both languages to be able to use it i'm not 100 percent sure like i said i don't fully understand everything and i'm constantly confused while reading this book like it is truly a confusing book i mean it's good but um confusing i would definitely say but i do like it and i like robin i think his like internal um problems are very valid because like he is at babel and he loves it he's on a community he has friends and he likes it there but obviously he's also struggling because he know they're exploiting his home country and stuff like that and like all these like colonies and stuff like that so he wants to do something against it but he also likes being at babel and he doesn't want to risk it all and that's kind of i think the struggle right now <laughs> I honestly don't know what's gonna happen next because i don't know what's gonna like be the big plot twist or like the struggle or something is gonna be we'll see i still have over 300 pages to read um yes i just realized that on like a romance book i would be almost done but it's fine you know i feel i'm i'm excited to feel like a big big accomplishment when i finish the book and i'm gonna read a little bit more today i don't have a lot of time today but tomorrow i'm gonna make like a full reading day where i just want to finish this book and yeah i don't know how i feel about it yet i hope it's like gonna pick up some pace and stuff like that or something's gonna happen <sighs> it's fine anyways happy reading hi guys i'm just gonna give you a little bit of a reading update right now um i'm so reading babel obviously it's i'm over halfway through now which is nice finally i am kind of liking it kind of not it's just a lot of historical stuff happening or not even historical stuff just like language stuff and like where the words came from which like 
I don't care about, like, you don't need to explain the meaning of, like, I don't know, house. That it came from the Latin word hausa. I don't know, that is just a stupid example, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't care. But I care about the characters and what's gonna happen with them, and all, like, the aspects and stuff like that. So that's really good. And the struggle that Robin, the main character, is going through, is I think, like, even though it's, like, takes place in 1830, I think, it's still very valid and important today because it's, like, talking, because he has a very comfortable, happy life at Babel. He is kind of, like, light, he gets good grades, he has his friends, it's all good, he's comfortable. But then, like, he has obviously conscience and he knows that the UK and the British Empire are using the colonies like China and India and stuff like that to get richer and they are just exploiting them and that's like the exact same as like today when like first world countries are exploiting third world countries and then um, we should do something about it but we're just very comfortable in our first world countries so we don't do anything about it or like climate change we should reuse less plastic and stuff like that but we're just comfortable and don't want to change so i think it's like an important thing today still even though it's like 200 years ago which i think really good but um it's just really i don't know what but it's weird. i really want to finish it today like it's right now five o'clock which is actually crazy the day kind of slipped away from me i had a lot going on but i'm gonna read till i'm done I'm just, I'm just gonna keep reading, mm, you know, so yeah, should be good, and um, yeah, I'm hoping for some good plot twists, I'm currently right at book four, and there were just, was just a big plot twist happening, like, the last page, but I'm hoping it's gonna pick up some pace, but yeah, quick little reading update, mm, that's right, and I made it really cozy, I lighted some I lit some candles and, you know, made it all cozy, so that's nice. I feel like a cozy atmosphere is always, like, so important for reading. So, yeah. My arm is falling apart, so I'm gonna keep reading. I just read until like page 400 and oh my god biggest plot twist ever just happened I cannot believe what just happened it's absolutely fucking insane oh my god guys biggest plot twist ever just happened it's actually insane I did not expect it at all I'm like currently at page 400 ish and it's absolutely insanity i am so mad and sad and like just shaking like i was reading the last three pages of something and i was like like just shocked and um yeah i think now it's actually picking up with some speed like the first 300 pages mm, no but now the last one yes so i do like that I'm just gonna quickly eat something because I'm starving, so yes. But honestly, crazy shit just happened. I wish I could tell you, but it's for the Frida block, so I won't. But wow, I did not think that that would happen. It's actually kind of crazy, you know? Because it was just like politics and stuff like that happening. And then boom, it just happened. Like the last three pages, which I'm like, why couldn't it have been slower and like actually like been good the last 10 pages or something? But whatever. But something is definitely happening. And so that's exciting. Also, I always need to like stand up and do something right after a big, big plot twist. So um, I don't know if that's luck or not luck. I don't know what for the... Anyways, I don't know. I don't know if that's luck or not luck because I just hate getting up and 
stopping to read at this moment but that it makes me more excited to start reading again so i don't know but anyways just wanted to give you this quick update um only have 150 ish pages left which is more than i have read the last couple of days but it's fine you know uh, i just want to finish it okay hi guys this is probably gonna be like my last update i guess before i finish the book because i am actually almost done with it well almost done with it missing 80 pages for me that's like almost two hours because i'm um, at a point in my reading journey where i just read really slowly and it's pissing me off but it's fine you know it's okay been there since like september or something so you know i'm getting used to it anyways um i am enjoying it more because like i said it picked up some pace which i love although i am so confused because something big just happened kind of um i don't know how much i can say probably nothing but anyways and that makes me really confused and i seem very easy and i'm like huh like what and it happened so suddenly like moment it was like that and then suddenly everything just happened and i was like huh how, how did we get from there to there i'm like what <sighs> so i don't really know but it's fine it's good i'm enjoying it a lot more and i'm here did i say i love the characters because i do love the characters i think they're really like i love them they're good. Also, I kind of like reading with a hardcover. It's nice. The spine does not crack. And I love that. So, I do like that. And no dust jacket, obviously. Because it's annoying. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I have no idea how it could end. Like, what would happen next. I'm just... I'm just confused, basically. That's all. But it, that's okay. You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna finish it. And then next I have a very, very excited read, which I'm already really looking forward to. So that's going to be exciting. But anyways, I'm going to keep reading this one until I'm done. And then, you know. Hi guys, I forgot to film the outro for this video and give you like my final thought on Babel. So it's been a while because it took me forever to edit this video because I had to show many other videos to like film. Like all like best books of 2022 and stuff like that. I don't know, needed to go out. So I didn't finish the video <laughs> and I'm so sorry. Anyways, it did leave me to have a lot of time to like wonder what I actually like felt about the book and what I would give it, like from stars and stuff like that and it's been a while and I still think about the book and what happened and like my opinion on it because when I finished it, I was like mm, 3.5 stars because you know, I liked it but I wasn't obsessed with and I was kind of getting bored throughout the book which are still points like yes, equally. Now I like, I think about the book back to it a lot and i still think about the plot twists which were insane so that's i guess really good and i really like that and i loved the characters and i still think about the characters and their struggles and the ending and it was just like i feel like a lot like i i wasn't used to that that kind of book because it was like zero romance or like a tiny bit of romance towards the end that's all i'm gonna say and like i love that part like, i was obsessed with that um but yeah it was just like i wasn't used to it so i think like i, I still think everybody can read it like i've read it and it was enjoyable like i think it took me like three days so you know it was good so i'm giving it four stars just because it was an incredible book like well written a lot of like explanation a lot of history involved and the metaphor for like colonialism in this book and how it's used with fantasy is so 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 good i love that part so i really really enjoyed it 
but it was just a lot of explanations and history and stuff like that so that's why i'm only giving it four stars but i will definitely recommend this book to everybody to read it and just give it a try i mean it's really popular for right now and i think for a reason and yeah i definitely enjoyed the book and i hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog um it's coming up a bit after i read it but you know still the same opinions and stuff like that and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in the next one and yeah i love you guys mm -hmm.